Hey guys, welcome back to VB A to Z. I'm Long Pomai, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to automatically trigger a VBA program whenever a new email is received in Outlook. The same can be replicated for other Outlook items like meeting, appointment, etc. The scope is huge and it really depends on how you want to utilize it. In this example, we'll build a simple program to check if the new email received meets certain criteria. If so, we'll download the attachment and load the same data from attachment to a master Excel workbook from Outlook itself. As always, project files and source codes are free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. If this is the first time you're writing code in Outlook, first go to your Outlook file options and then from the Trust Center, you'll have to enable uh, the micro settings. So make sure any of this three is checked. If you change the settings, you'll have to restart your Outlook for it to be effective. From here, you'll have to press Alt F11, and then you'll get to this um, page where you put in the code, okay? So the idea here is that whenever any item is being added to Outlook uh, inbox, it triggers this particular code, okay? We'll add um, Outlook item uh, with events object, okay? First, private, and then with events, we'll add, uh, this will be a variable names, and then items okay and now this particular object we want to set this up whenever our application is started so start up this code will run whenever outlook gets started so we'll say here we'll declare our outlook application same as we did in our prior video so outlook application and then um, Outlook namespace and then let's set up uh, and then here is going to be a mapping get the folder and then it's gonna be inbox items okay so again as we uh, talked about this in a prior video that if you want to activate a specific session if you have multiple accounts within Outlook you'll have to you know like take care of this part from here um, please refer to a prior video for that and now now we have set this up. For this to work, we'll have to restart our Outlook. Now we'll just say um, sort of triggered or something like that, just to test it out after some time. Okay, so this part is good now. Now with this object, we'll start adding events to this. Okay. Now. So here we'll associate uh, this particular object with the uh, event called uh, items type. And then here we'll uh, add um, by value as object. And then here we'll declare our um, email, so Outlook mail as um, mail item. And then we'll also declare an attachment. So whenever a new email comes in, we'll check if you know a certain condition is met, and then based on that, we'll download the attachment. That will be the initial idea. Okay. So Outlook attachment, maybe as attachment. Now we'll verify if the item that comes through here is email, uh, mail, and not you know like a meeting or any other type of object. Okay. So for that, we'll validate this if um, type name, same as we do in Excel. And then uh, this is if the item here is validated as mail item, then we want to trigger or we want to set up our mail first. So we'll say set this. Our mail will be set to this and then 
once it finished running, we want to also take care of the memory. Okay, so let's try and test this out. We'll try to print a couple of uh, items. So the subject, maybe um, attachments, count, if there's any attachment, then sender email address. We'll try this first. Okay, so now um, let's quickly validate. Okay, now it looks like we are using a reserve name. I'm going to replace this with uh, something like my Outlook mail. Okay, so let's give it a try. Um, so when we restart our Outlook, or we can trigger this by pressing F5 as well, but just to make it real, I'm going to restart my Outlook, and then it get triggered this, um, this particular code here and then it will print out this in our immediate window here and then if the email received uh, you know like whenever the new email is received if this part is triggered we'll be able to see this information here okay so now I'm gonna restart my outlook I'll save it okay so going to my editor and you see that the, um, this particular code is triggered and then this is time when it got triggered okay so now I'm gonna try and send um, email. So I have these two dummy files. Let me just attach these files. Call this test one. I'm gonna test these two files. Hello there. It's a sample, and then I'm gonna send this. You can see it's sending down there. So as soon as the any items added to this particular folder, this particular folder, you know, like this event will get triggered. So probably this already triggered now. I'm going back here. Now you can see that there are two attachments. So attachment count, the subject is test one, and then the center is alpamai at outlook.com. Okay. So the code is working. Now what we can do here is uh, like we did in our prior video we can quickly run um, loop through the attachment and then export it to a folder okay so let's quickly do that it's um, attachment in uh, this particular mail attachment in this particular email then save as file and then this is where we're going to put the path so for demonstration purpose we're going to you know like save the file down to this same path we used earlier okay in this path and then it will be dot file name whatever is the file name okay and then sorry my bad so it's going to be this so when the new email any item is received you know like in the inbox added to the inbox item add this code is going to run and then if the item is going to validate if the item is mail item if it is so it's going to set, set up our uh, mail item here and then it's, for now it's going to just print out this as well and then this part will loop through all the attachment in that particular email and then it's going to save it down to this particular folder now let's uh, try it one more time so I'm just gonna forward this same email to myself it's taking a little bit of time so item is added and you can see the attachment has been downloaded here okay so now that this is working let's write a one small code to upload this particular data to a master file so here I have created a dummy file called master okay and then Whenever any file, you know, like attachment uh, comes through, we're going to upload that particular data. For example, this particular data will be directly exported from, you know, like from our code here into this particular muscle file here down here. So that's what we're trying to do now. So let's quickly add a new module here and then we'll call this, we'll make this a function. We'll call this upload data and then this will take in the file path then as blue 
it's five slots a string okay so here before we can use excel objects we'll have to reference it to microsoft excel so here i already have this check but you'll have to find microsoft excel whatever is the highest version you have check this box to be able to you know like directly use excel ob object library from outlook itself so here we're going to declare our um, application first excel app as um, excel dot application now we're going to declare a couple of workbooks so first will be uh, our source workbook as um, workbook and then our destination workbook as workbook and then we'll declare two worksheet as well source sheet as worksheet and then destination now we'll open the workbook uh, or we'll say um, we'll first have to set up our application sorry like this then we'll see our workbook and then here we're gonna open our workbook similarly uh, so this source and then the destination workbook is gonna be our sample master file here so I'll just put a fixed format for now like this and then as workbook dot will disclose it source workbook we do not want to save it so false and then destination workbook dot close we want to save it when this is done okay so here we're opening up the workbook that will be sent from outlook and then we are opening the master file that is where we're going to append it okay so as a demonstration for now i'm just going to quickly you know like write all this code you're already familiar with this so and then we'll see the sheet will be whatever is the first sheet we're gonna import data from there this is for destination it's for destination or book so from here we're gonna copy the data um, for example, let's say we want to copy the data from range uh, 8 to, to um, D31. We can make it dynamic, of course, but for now we're just going to keep it simple. Okay, so here we'll copy the data and then here we're going to paste uh, into our source uh, destination, sorry. maybe to A1 to A2 and base vessel as um, values and number formats and then we'll clear the clipboard okay so I think that should be pretty much it Or if you want, you can also call the micro that is in your workbook. If you want to do that, you'll just have to, you know, like uh, open up the, you know, like from the workbook. Once you open it, you can say workbook dot um, application dot run. You know, basically calling the micro, and then here you just specify um, the module name, module, your uh, Excel module name. And then here you put in the macro name like this this way as well you can run the macro okay or you can simply call the macro as well 
it should be able to understand. So this way you can do as well. So here we are declaring the application workbooks and then worksheets, setting up our Excel application, opening up the workbook, and then activating the workbook, copying the data, setting the worksheet, copying the data from the source, and then activating the master workbook. This D, you know, like destination WB is our master workbook set up here. And then um, we're activating the sheet and then pasting the data there. And then we're making the, you know, like um, clearing the clipboard. So we're clo closing the source workbook without saving and then the destination we're saving it. Now we want to also just close Excel that was open from Outlook. Oops. And now we'll clear the memory for this as well. So if I have to just test this now first before we call this from Outlook and make it fail, just in case. Let's say call this and then here we're gonna put the pod. Let's put this dummy pod. like this. Now I'm gonna run this code F8. So this is gonna run in the back and if you want to see the Excel open up you can also make visible to true. So here you can see the two workbook that it opened right now and then um, I'm gonna close this now. So it looks like it copied the data, so we cannot see it. And then we're expecting it to be pasted in there. So it's pasted there, clearing the clipboard, and then closing the workbooks. Okay, this one must be already open somewhere. Yeah, I manually opened, that's why it's say, trying to save it as a copy. And then quitting Excel, and then clearing, you know, like the memory, okay? So it seems to be working okay. Just give me one last moment. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this code and put it here. So first it's going to save down there and whatever. So we can just make it file name, destination file name. This could be our new variable. And this string. And then we're gonna call this code as well. So every time you know like the new email is received, it's gonna try to download this and then call this. If you want to put a validation, you can see in our prior code as well um, in the QML that we have done. you'll see you can put a validation like this that you know like if the receive time is uh, based on certain date you can put a date here if the subject contains you know like in string if it contains certain value for example here in this manner you can put a validation like this and then if it meets your criteria you can let the code be triggered okay now I'll just add one validation just as a demonstration so if um, in string and then here will be our subject if the subject includes um, let's say flows data if the subject includes flows data only then we want to run the code okay and then I'll try one more We'll just write close data like this. And then we'll add one more file here. So this one should have run and the second one should not run. Okay, so this email has come true, the second one. I'm going to go to the code. And as you can see here, it ran for whatever subject has the flows data in it. And then it ignored this, the another email we just sent now. It has flows DA only, so that's why it did not run. 
So guys, I hope you found the video informative. If so, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.